Uh, hey, what's happening, guys? I'm back to do another lesson, this time for uh, Loving Cup from Excel on Main Street. Now, a couple years ago, I did, uh, I did this cover, and um, I wanted to explain a little bit the way I played it. Um, I actually learned it from watching I was footage of the Stones, you know, playing the song. And it looks like they're playing in a uh, basement in France or where, wherever they made that album. Um, and Keith, he's playing it with a capo at the fifth fret. And um, I learned it from watching him, the way he was playing it in the video. Um, shows him how he's playing it. And... Uh, it looks like he, you know, he's starting with an A, and uh, you're actually going to uh, start with just your first and second finger on the D and G string, and then you're going to add your ring finger to the second fret of the B string. And you switch to G. Start with your second finger down on the second fret of the uh, high E string. You're going to lift it off. And add it back on. gets to the part where he's singing and I'm stumbling and I can't sing very well but I'm just going to try to accompany myself just for the sake of you know, the lesson um, uh, let me see and I'm stumbling So, um, uh, let's see. Go from G to D. Twice. And you're going to go C, G. Uh, but I'm playing that C with all four fingers. I'm playing with uh, my ring finger at the uh, third fret of the low E string. And the way I'm strumming that is I, I, I like to go down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. Is that? Yeah. Down. And you don't want to come up that last time on the G when you switch to G. That's what he does when, when he's playing it. Uh, I noticed when, you know, Watching that video, that's the way uh, Keith was kind of strumming it. Um, from your loving Goes back to the end. mostly all there is to the song. There's another little interlude part uh, where it goes, let's see, it goes to B minor, starts at B minor. I just try to do an F chord without my first finger barred, and that's uh, that was not the bargain right there. Um, 
but to go over those chords for the interlude, it's a B minor, and come back to that A with just your two fingers on the D and G string. G, you can play it with just, I mean a lot of times um, you don't have to play it with all four of your fingers. It sounds full to do it that way, but I don't think Keith plays it that way. And um, I mean a lot of times when I'm playing a G, I'll switch, I'll switch and just use my uh, ring finger and pinky to cover the uh, low note and the high note. Or you could, you know, add your second finger. Um, but you have to get your own feel for it. And I think a main, a big part of this song um, is just putting the capo at the fifth fret. And uh, that's a big part of uh, the sound they're getting. So I think that's uh, just about everything. And um, I hope, uh, hope that helps you out. Good luck with it. All right, take care.